Yakub go on. I thought they said old age comes with wisdom. But you have proven to all of us that even foolish people grow old. So after five decades, you reopen our wounds. After 50 years of civil war, you still portray yourself as a hero. If no one will tell you I will, you are no hero. You are a villain. Posterity and history book will remember you only but as a man who closed the border and stabbed innocent thousands of children to death. You are the man who staged the war and sacrificed the lives of our brothers and sisters on the platter of your pride and arrogance. You are no hero. We know whom you are. You are the man who divided the southeastern region into 12 states just to weaken them in 1967. You are the man who created NYC to amend your mistakes. You are the man who initiated the ideas to give the Igbos 20 pounds for survival. You are the man. You are the youngest person to ever pilot the affairs of the most populated black nation. At the age of 31, you became a head of state. You were the bachelor. Wisdom should have been going through your head, but not. It was not going as it is yesterday. So it is still with you today. No wisdom, Yakubu Gawon. You are the man. You are the one, the longest serving military head of state from 1966 to 1975. Nine good years you served this nation. Yet, the only thing that you can brag of is fighting a civil war. War has never been an achievement. War is the act of barbarians. War is the act of Nadentals. It is Shibolite and Antidolivian. Any man who is pride and and proud of fighting a civil war is not a man to reckon with. In a time like this, when Nigerians are clamoring for hunger, you, after many years, I thought time and season should have taught you better, you went to Mr. President and told him not to listen to the criticism of people that that was what happened when you fought the civil war. You never fought a good fight. You are no in no position to give advice to the excellencies. You are never excellent, Yakubu Gowon. You are never. But I don't blame you. I blame Sheo Shagari who gave you state pardon in 1981 because you should have still be in exile. That is where men that reason like you are supposed to be. This statement that you made is a disrespect to everyone that fought the civil war, both the soldiers for and for against. This has shown me that your statement after the war, no victor, no vanquish, was never from your heart. After many years, you came out and gave such statement. You are never remorseful. No sympathy, no empathy to the crimes of yesterday. Yakubu go on. Yakubu go on. Yakubu go on. Unfortunately, the man you fought the civil war with is no longer here. He has gone to the land beyond. But never you think that you are alive because you are a good man. God has kept you so that you will see the punishment that will befall you and your land. And today, Fulani Hess men are your karma. Yakubu go on. The words that should come out from the mouth of an elder should be the mouth and the words that will promote national unity and not a word that will cause our cohesion to scatter. Be wise. You cannot lie to the people. You can only deceive the Gen Zs who have refused to read and study history. For men like us, we know whom you are. And you know that we know. Wisdom, Africa. Wisdom. It's the principal thing.